Speaking of food, a major blow to Oregon restaurants and bars as the state enters a third shutdown. It's going to take effect today, and it will be the third indoor dining ban for some major cities like Portland and Salem and Bend and Eugene, forcing recovering restaurants to shut their doors yet again to indoor diners. Jen Jacobson is a mother of three and the owner of Beloved Cheesecakes, and she joins us right now from out in Oregon. Good morning to you, Jen. Good morning. Thank you for having me. When you heard the news, you must have thought, you got to be kidding me. I've already had to let all my employees go. It's just me and my three kids running this operation. What are you going to do? Um, well, I'm going to keep going and doing what I can with the to-go orders and uh, trying to survive that way. I mean, that is what it is. It's like just surviving right now. Um, I do feel like for uh, small businesses, you know, Governor Brown talks about being uh, the un underrepresented population of people that she cares for. I mean, we have that in common. I care for underrepresented people myself. And mm -hmm. I think she's oversaw small business owners and especially in the restaurant industry. And we're being underrepresented right now. Yeah. And there's a picture of you with your three children who are helping you run your your operation. And by the way, uh, we've got your website. We're going to give the, the website in a moment so people, if they would like to get, in fact, there it is right there. People would like to help her and her family out. BelovedCheesecakes.com is where you can go to see what she's selling and she'll ship it to you just like that. Yes. But, uh, Jen, uh, 1,200 Oregon restaurants have already permanently gone out of business. And I know you are just hanging by a thread. And as you look at what the governor is doing to people in in the same boat as you, you say she does not have the authority to do what she's doing. No, not at all. She doesn't have the authority. Um, it goes against our constitutional rights. Um, I'm, I, I'm essential. I'm a mom. I'm pro providing for my family. Um, I don't know why there's a target on small businesses and restaurants when I can go to Costco and get my groceries for the week uh, for the shop and be shoulder to shoulder with people. It's not right. I, I don't know. I feel like we're being a scapegoat for the COVID spread. And I don't, it's not right. Yeah. And, and think about it. What kind of businesses have to get licensed and approved by the health department every year? It's restaurants. So uh, right. people in your business know how to keep people safe. Oh, absolutely. We sanitize everything. I said that the other day. We sanitize tables, chairs, dishes, uh, silverware, everything. Every time you have a new customer, when you're at Costco, I'm touching things all the time, and that's not getting sanitized. Well, you don't have any uh, diners there, but uh, people watching right now are going to order a cheesecake from BelovedCheesecakes.com. By the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy one during the commercial. What is the fa your favorite best cheesecake? Uh, the signature one is our salted caramel. I used to donate Ooh. to a lot of auctions that we had, and okay. uh, it's gone from $600 to $904 at auctions. That's amazing. It sounds delicious. I'm going to buy one right now. All right. Good luck to you, Jen Jacobson, uh, and your boys running that operation, Belove Beloved Cheesecake, out in Oregon. Thank you. Thank and you. Good luck. Thank you. And the phone just rang.